Hello everybody, this is Stuart Wilde. Welcome to my series on assertiveness. This first tape talks about assertiveness or achievement as a spiritual quest and how to develop a strong, assertive personality without becoming abusive or aggressive. And on tape two, I'm going to talk to you about the force of will. This idea of being able to hone down your will so that you can push it out or project it into society and demand that life gives you what you want. If you look at our civilization, you can see how we are basically subjugated by all of the rules and regulations that are around us. This comes through from feudal times when the lords were in power over the serfs or the peasantry, where the church had command of the souls or the spirit of people, where males were over females. And we are brought into or we come into a world where we are taught to basically conform. We are, we are moved into or manipulated or educated into a forced orthodoxy. And of course that doesn't allow you to express yourself as an individual and it doesn't allow you to become free. And our societies, whereas they may be here in the West anyway democratic, they certainly aren't free because not only are you subjugated by all the rules and regulations, but you're subjugated by the feelings and the attitudes of society that forces you to be something that perhaps isn't particularly comfortable to you. And of course this comes also from Christianity that teaches that we're all one and that we all have to look after each other. However, if you go back, let's say, into um, Greek philosophy and you look at, say, the teachings of Empedocles, who was a pre-Socratic philosopher, who came up with the idea that whereas there was the unity on one hand, that sort of collective consciousness, all things being unified, what he said was that in order to achieve a separateness, or in order to achieve an identity within the God force or within the embodiment of all things, there had to be strife. And so Empedocles put unity on the one side and strife on the other. And he said that strife or contention or like a dynamic combustion of two forces pushing against each other was what granted us a sanctity, an individuality. Then if you go and you look at Taoism, say, and you read some of the old Chinese philosophers, you can see how the center point of Taoism was detachment. And what the Taoist sages taught was that it is impossible for a being to become an individual, assertive or otherwise, to really sense a, a worth within themselves unless they could pull out of society and that, in the Taoist philosophy in the olden days, meant trotting up a hill and sitting in a monastery somewhere and doing sort of neat little exercises or whatever. But in our society, the detachment comes from a mental, emotional, spiritual detachment. And that allows you to become that individual person. At this point, I want you to realize, and this is vital, that those antagonistic forces that you observe to be outside of you are actually only extensions of your own personality. They are manifestations of inner conflicts or weakness within your will. And by looking at those antagonistic forces and realizing that they are a part of you, you own them. And owning them is neat. Because if you own them, it means that you can dominate them and you can change the situation. By looking at the strife, you can create that godliness or that power that is inside of you. By using that strife to enhance your dynamic power. And that, I believe, is the reason why we all have to face that sort of monster on the path in our life at some time. Because unless there is an antagonistic force pushing against you, how can you ever strengthen yourself? And that, I think, is the key to developing this strength of will. The tragedy is that for many people, 
those antagonistic forces are made into such monsters that they control and bind the individual forever. The thing about it is that the antagonistic force is not an enemy. It's a friend, a true, true friend, one of the best you'll ever have. And the more that you can become natural within yourself, the more that you can get rid of all of those things in your life that are awkward or unnatural, then the greater your alignment to the life force, God force, and the more power you have. And the more power you have, the more people come around, and there's more interesting things in your life. So it's obvious.